Okay, here is a neuron, and in the upper left-hand corner, you can see the impulse is traveling down the neuron. It's down the axon. And, you know, let's go ahead and pause. Let's go ahead and pause that impulse right there, and let's zoom on in and take a closer look. Okay, now that we've zoomed on in, remind yourself the interior of a neuron has a negative charge. I know it might look in the picture, it might look in the picture like the inside is positive because of all of the positive potassiums. I just didn't draw all the negative, uh, the negative proteins that are inside of a neuron. I didn't want to add too much clutter. But please remind yourself the internal is a negative charge. And so what happens during an action potential? is it says that around the charge of negative 40 millivolts, watch the two black doorways on the left. The two black doorways on the left are going to open. These black doorways represent what are called sodium channels. A channel is simply a passageway. And the sodium channels respond and, and open around negative 40 millivolts. And when that happens, now that the sodium channels are, are open, sodium will simply rapidly diffuse to the inside of the neuron. Remember, the inside of a neuron is negatively charged normally, but because of all the positive sodiums that just entered, the charge rushes up from negative all the way up to positive 50 millivolts. That's the impulse. The impulse is that change from negative to positive. Remember, an impulse is simply an electrical charge. An impulse is that change from negative to positive. Well, like the notes say, around positive 50 millivolts, the black sodium channels will close and the red potassium channels will open. And what happens next is the red potassium will diffuse out of the cell, dropping the charge all the way down to negative 90. When the charge was positive 50 at the start, but then a bunch of positive potassiums exited, the cell internally lost its positive charge. It dropped all the way down to negative 90. And like the notes say, around negative 90, the sodium, uh, excuse me, around negative 90, the red potassium channels will close and uh, the, the black sodium channels will open. Actually, the, the sodium channels open around negative 40. Millivo uh, millivolts, but because the potassium is exiting so rapidly, the charge continues down all the way to negative 90. And so now that the next set of sodium channels are opened, we repeat. What happens next is the sodium will rapidly diffuse, bringing the charge from negative 90 all the way up to positive 50 again. Again, that's the impulse, the change from negative to positive to negative to positive and so on. And just like last time, when the charge reaches positive 50, the sodium channel, the black sodium channels are going to close, the red potassium channels are going to open. And remember, right now the internal charge is positive 50, but when all those potassiums exit, it's going to lose the positive charge. It's going to drop all the way down to negative 90, negative 90 millivolts. And just like happened last time, around negative 90 millivolts, the red potassium channels close. And around negative 40 millivolts, the next set of black sodium channels are going to open. The charge continues to drop, however, because the sodium, uh, excuse me, because the potassium is exiting so rapidly. So when the charge reaches negative 90, uh, that's when the, the red potassium channels close. Well, let's focus our eyes on the, the last set of doors on the right. Now that the black sodium channels are open, we simply repeat. A bunch of positively charged sodium ions diffuse on in, bringing the charge all the way up to positive 50 millivolts. That's again the impulse, the change from negative to positive to negative to positive. Well, we simply repeat. Around positive 50 millivolts, the, the sodium channels close and the potassium channels open. And I hope you know what happens next. The potassium exits, dropping the charge all the way down to negative 90. We simply have repeated the process several times in this animation. And around negative 90, the potassium channels close, the next set of sodium channels would open, and the process would simply keep repeating. So here's another animation. This one's a little more simplistic. There's not so much clutter, so hopefully this is a little more clear if you thought the last one was a little hard to follow. 
So again, I want to remind you that even though there's some positive potassiums on the inside of the cell, the overwhelming internal charge of a cell of a, neuro of a neuron is a negative charge. And watch what happens. This, is, uh, uh, this animation only takes maybe 10 seconds. Watch what happens. When the sodium channel opens, the area becomes quickly positive. But that positive charge only lasts for a split moment. Once the charge becomes positive, that will stimulate the opening of a potassium channel and the potassium exits. And that's what an action potential is. It's that change from positive to negative to positive to negative all the way down the length of a neuron. So go ahead and rewind the video if you want to see that again. I think that's a real clean, helpful animation for you. When we come back to the animation, I added a few things. I added these blue triangular shaped objects. I, I didn't want them in the previous animation because I didn't want them to add clutter. But pretend that they were actually there in the previous animation. I just didn't want them to be, uh, to be in the way of the previous animation. But watch what they do. Now you have this big mess of sodium that rushed into the cell and this big mess of potassium that exited the cell. Look what the sodium potassium pump does. Three sodiums at a time will be pumped out of the cell and two potassiums at a time will be pumped back into the cell. It's reloading the cell. It's basically putting the cell back to normal. And the same thing happens with the other ones. Three sodiums at a time are pumped out and two potassiums at a time are pumped in. So you can imagine if all these sodium pumps were working, there's six of them in the animation, if they were all working at the same time, they would restore the cell back to normal in a very short amount of time. Once the cell is restored back to normal, it's able to send another impulse. So here we have our diagram that we saw earlier. Let's watch the animation. As the impulse travels, eventually it comes to the tips or the terminals. Let's zoom on in to the terminals and take a closer look. Okay, now that we've zoomed on in again, here we have the end of a neuron on the left, the terminal end on the left, and the beginning of a neuron on the right, the dendrite of a neuron on the right. And like the note says, an impulse will reach the axon's terminal. Watch the animation. Sodium channels open, the positive charge is created, potassium exits, and just like we saw a moment ago, sodium rushes in, potassium rushes out. But now in the animation, the impulse has reached the terminal end. Well, you notice how there's a bluish round circle. That represents a cell part known as a vesicle. And so the vesicle is going to fuse with the cell membrane and release those orange circles that it was protecting. Those orange circles represent chemical me uh, messenger molecules called neurotransmitters. Watch the animation. The animation says that those orange neurotransmitters are going to diffuse across that gap. That gap is called the synapse, and they're going to attach themselves. They're going to land. They're going to be caught by what are called receptors. There are receptors on the neighboring neuron. Dendrites have receptors on their, uh, at their tips, like you see in the picture. And like it also says in the animation, when, <coughs> excuse me, uh, when the neurotransmitters land on the receptors, look what it causes them to do. Look at the top of, of, the, of the dendrite on the right. Look what happens. One of the sodium channels is going to open. So when the, when the neurotransmitters land on the receptors, that causes the charge inside of the neuron to reach negative 40. And like we saw a moment ago, at negative 40, the black sodium channels open. And I hope you see what's going to happen next. Sodium will rush on in, and then potassium rushes out. So a new impulse is created. So the impulse from the neuron to the left caused neurotransmitters to be released across the synapse. And when the neurotransmitters landed on the neuron to the right, 
it caused the neuron on the right to create a brand new impulse.